call it Coffee with a Mission. It took Switchpoint Coffee Co. four months from inception to being placed on the shelf. Now people are lining up at the door for a cup of joe or a bag of beans to end the cycle of poverty. You know, for me, we needed to find a product that um, would be consumable in a lot of places, and coffee was the logical choice. Founder of Switchpoint, Carol Hollowell, was inspired by a homeless man named Ray, who just wanted a cup of coffee. Although he has since passed away, the ray of sunshine he now brings in a bag of coffee will forever bring hope. Nine years ago, a man changed my life to the extent that now the coffee is named after him. And I hope he's up there in the sky somewhere going, woohoo, I'm the first blend. <laughs> You know. Carol met with coffee connoisseur Elise West to create a roastery, bringing the aroma, smell, and taste of freshly roasted coffee to the people, while at the same time finding a way to make a difference in ending homelessness. Carol and the other administrators are getting pulled every which way by other cities to see if they can start a similar type program. And uh, what a great foundation to, you know, sell coffee. Cheers. <laughs> the number one problem right now in, in our state, right, is affordable housing. And we just can't wait for grants to keep being available. Uh, we've got to start creating more housing faster. And so for us, this is a great way to do that is if we can have our own, own unrestricted dollars to do it. Coffee lovers came to support the new mission and taste the freshly brewed coffee for themselves. It's just enough. It's not too strong, not too light, and it's, it's different enough that it doesn't match any other coffee I've ever had, actually, so it seems to be they're doing a great job. Your drinking the coffee will help people who don't have those simple little pleasures have those simple little pleasures in life. Items from local bakeries were also for sale and cookies were handed out which came from Switchpoint's bakery in Salt Lake. While sitting areas are small, the view inside has much to behold thanks to local artists who shared their talents. And so the Utah Academy, uh, Arts Academy, painted all those for us and they turned out amazing. If you look closely, every single one of them has our little icon in them. So it's kind of like where in the world's Waldo, where's the little icon? It took about 24 students several months to create these 21 panels. I did the one with the coyote, the gila monster, and the turtle with the girl drinking coffee. And it was just kind of a weird experience to commit to a art piece for this long and not want to just curl up into a ball in the corner and give up, but I did it. And I think it turned out very well, and I think the rest of us can all kind of agree that we're very proud that we took this experience. And I was thinking, like, desert, um, oh, with Utah, I'll add, like, a mountain range, and then maybe I'll add a little, like, rock formations, like Bryce Canyon. And while Switchpoint Coffee Co. just opened up, the plan is already underway to expand business. We will be in our first grocery store uh, next week uh, in Digby's, and after that, we will be launching into um, grocery stores across the state, and then we'll go nationwide. The dream is, is that we would be able to make a couple million dollars a year off of coffee sales. That's the dream. So help us make it happen, man. Buy some coffee. This new for-profit business was designed to feed the non-profit businesses of Switchpoint Resource Center, which currently helps house the homeless. But those who know Carol are just waiting to find out what she has in mind next. And so we can create some other products that um, we hope we'll have ready by the end of the summer. So stay tuned on what we'll throw out next. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.